can remember that it was on April 20th, 2012, that the Red Sox held a great big birthday party to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the opening of Fenway Park. It was a great event. Hundreds of former Red Sox players walked onto the field. There were books, there were CDs, DVDs, documentaries, magazine articles. Now, Tuesday, August 18th, 2015, we commemorate the 100th anniversary of the opening of Braves Field, otherwise known behind me now as Nickerson Field on the campus of Boston University. There's a lot of people have come through here over the years, uh, students, their parents, and they really didn't quite know the history of the field. And we're trying to make sure they're trying to bridge the two things, understand the, how it started and the, and the Braves and also all the use that we've got on it through all the years, whether it's for graduation, for all our, our varsity teams, even the club sports teams. So many people have used this field one way or another. We want to make sure to that's part of the celebration. August 18th, 2015. The day will largely go unnoticed by a lot of people. Uh, your thoughts on that? I think it's very sad because it, it, it is a very important piece of Boston sports history that is not all that well known. I think Boston baseball fans, sports fans in general, are uh, very much uh, uh, enriched by the fact that they have two historic sports arenas here in Boston that still, you know, Fenway is intact. Braves Field, there are still pieces of it in existence and uh, as the book that Bill and I worked on points out, there were a lot of very significant sporting events that took place here. It's always had sort of a curious history to it, uh, but you have to love a ballpark that had a feature called the jury box. <laughs> And unfortunately for the Braves, the verdict was usually in and it wasn't a good one. There's a little bit of Braves feel left. Do you take solace knowing that this will probably always be here? Yeah, I think so. I think it's nice that you can come here and still see some memory of it. When I was eight years old, the Braves left town and I, I must have been born to be a historian or something because I remember feeling regret then that I'd never been to a game. Sadly, just 13 former Boston Braves are still alive. None of them will be on this field on Tuesday for the 100th anniversary of the opening of Braves Field. We forget how important this ballpark was. We forget that this city once had two Major League Baseball teams. The Boston Braves were the first team in Boston to integrate. Sam Jethro, 1950 African-American Rookie of the Year. The Boston Braves also signed Henry Aaron, though it was in Milwaukee that Hank Aaron, Hammer and Hank Aaron, burst into prominence. This is an important piece of Boston history. Congratulations on the 100th anniversary of Nickerson Field, Braves Field, and thank you, Boston University, for preserving this great, great ballpark.